Hi there, my name is Chris and thanks for watching my little video about poker chips. You'll see on my channel I also have some other poker stuff, mostly me ranting at this point. In the future there will be more content. I'm doing poker chip videos now in the style of John Hobby, aka YouTuber Hobby Philic. Make sure you check out his channel. He is the OG original poker chip dude. Love his videos, have watched his videos a lot, and always wondered to myself why didn't more people do videos like he did. Well, that's what I'm a doing. I'm really trying to not repeat what he has done, and that includes not doing the same chips that he has done. Now I know what you're saying to yourself. Dude, he's done these chips before. This is the Atlantic Club. I know that's what you're saying, but you're wrong. These are not Atlantic Club. These are my very own custom CPC hot stamps, very much in the style of the Atlantic Club. This is Pepper Street Poker hot stamps. These are custom chips that I ordered going on four years ago now when I first joined PokerChipForum.com, link in the description, an excellent resource for poker chip enthusiasts. I saw that David Sprague, who is the fearless leader of ClassicPokerChips.com, was going to start producing hot stamps. Yay! And so I ordered a set right away. I was so excited. I emailed David and I ordered these from right to left. Dayglow Green for the 25, Black for the 100, Dayglow Peacock, for the blue, 500. Dayglow Saturn for the yellow, 1K. And Dayglow Tiger for the 5K. So I ordered enough for a single table tournament. Tournament poker is mostly what we play in this garage. Used this chipset for a number of years. Every time I had a single table tournament, which is fairly frequently, this is the chipset that would come out. And players love the chips, and I love the chips, and they're just fantastic. Make sure you check out Hobby Felix's videos on the Atlantic Club. He goes through the weights and the sounds and all that good stuff. Here I'm just kind of showing off what I have. My game recently got a lot more popular over the last year, and so I can't remember the last time I had a single table tournament. So I said to myself, I need to order more of these. But I didn't want to pay as much as I did originally because they're quite expensive. Well worth it, but quite expensive. And I realized that they have a stock set, which is probably close to half the price of customs. And so that's what I ordered. I went with the Atlantic Club. This is what John Hobby has reviewed at length. And you'll notice that the Atlantic Club chips are the identical colors as my chips. Funny that. You know, I ordered these chips before they offered the Atlantic Club before they offered the stock chip. So I would like to think that maybe my order inspired Mr. Sprague maybe to put out a stock line because when I posted my chips on PokerChipForum.com, there was a lot of enthusiasm. Definitely that's the biggest impact I've ever had on that forum. Lots of people said, oh, I have to have these now, blah, blah, blah. So I ordered quite a bit more and now I have a set large enough for three full tables, which is dope. All the colors are identical with the Atlantic Club with the one exception of these guy. This is my Pepper Street Poker Dayglo Saturn. And then Atlantic Club is actually Dayglo Yellow, which really is different. You can tell there's quite a difference. See, if you're in a tournament, you're gonna be able to tell that they're different. But you can also say, hey, that's okay. That's cool because it's it doesn't really matter. All the other colors are identical for sure. Let's see, you got an Atlantic Club and a Pepper Street and they're very, very close. Mine is a teeny bit different, but that's just, if you're in a tournament, you're never ever gonna tell the difference. So it was, that's really cool. So now I have enough for three full tables, yo! What was also cool about the stock set Atlantic Club is they have this guy. Ooh, Retro Lavender 25K, sweet! Yeah, that's pretty dope. If you have a three table tournament with 20K starting stacks and re-entries, you're gonna need some 25K chips and so happily, the stock chips include a 25K chip. So now I've got six denominations, right arm. That's pretty cool. Go right there. One thing I should mention is that there is a difference now between the custom chips that I ordered and the stock chips, but this difference is of my own making. Here is a stack of my Pepper Street 100s and you'll notice that it's super duper wobbly. And why is it so wobbly and funky? Well, that's because my garage where I keep these chips is 100 degrees during the summer. So this is entirely my fault. CPCs do not do well in the heat. So if I do the John Hobby test here, that's really bad. Uh, totally my fault. I do not feel too bad because it's still definitely playable. It is just what it is. 
But then if you bring in the Atlantic clubs, these guys are flat AF, as the kids like to say. These do not wobble at all. I mean, barely. Whereas these things are super wobbly. See, when you don't have your poker chips in heat, they last longer and they're like this. So unfortunately, I'm going to be keeping these out in the garage because I don't have a place to put them in the house. <laughs> so right now, they don't move at all. Uh, uh, uh. They're super stiff. Yeah, yeah. Wobbly. Pepper Street. Not wobbly. Atlantic Club. So there's a big difference there. Notice now I don't have any day glow greens. I'm putting those away because I've gone to the big blind anti format. And one nice thing about the big blind anti format no more quarters. That is what it is. Pretty cool set. Very happy to have it. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this. I've rambled on too long. Uh, enjoy this close up montage of the chips, and I'll see you next time for more poker chips. Peace. Thank you.